Hello everyone, Frego here, and today I will be summoning on the CYL4 Brave Banner for Brave Claude. I have been waiting to finally summon on this banner, so let's jump in. Ah, and of course, there's no colorless. Um, okay, so aside from Claude, I really want an extra copy of Dimitri. I'm gonna spark for Dimitri for sure. Um, and that neutral one is the one that I'll be using. Unless the other one is plus attack or something. Oh, we got Matilda. His fodder is just so good. Anyway, if you've been here before, you know that Claude is my favorite character. As a matter of fact, he's my favorite character in the whole Fran Fire Emblem franchise. Uh, much so that I made a Crest of Regan themed upside down pineapple cake. Oh, still no colorless. Yes, actually, um, I think I've made something for each of the characters in this banner. The only one that I'm missing is Dimitri, but I already know what I'm going to make for him. And yes, it's going to have blueberry and it's going to be so delicious. So, if you like Fire Emblem and you like sweets, subscribe. <laughs> and hopefully now we will get a colorless orb at least. Yes! Here it comes. Ever since the CYL units, um, ever since the CYL results were announced, um, almost every single night I would think about the possibilities of uh, what they would do with um, each unit. I was thinking maybe they were going to um, give Claude a little something a, more Elmiron, if that makes any sense. Faye did say that he's dressed as in um, Almyvern, Wyvern, uh, a Wyvern writer, a Wyvern writer <laughs> from Almyra, but I don't recall seeing anyone from Almyra other than Claude wearing what he's wearing. So I imagined a different kind of Almyran garb with him uh, maybe wielding an axe, maybe the axe relic that uh, you find in the game. Or um, the sword of Begalta as a an infantry sword user, which would have been awesome because I've been pity broken by all of the swords with those skills that reduce damage based on their speed, and I was so excited um, to possibly try them out with Claude, but not the case. So I was a little disappointed that Is didn't. Um, they didn't really go for something risky. They just played it safe. They didn't. They weren't too creative. But I was also pleasantly surprised because his bow is awesome. That wind Parthia, Parthia, I think it's called. Wind Parthia is so cool. I am a little salty that um, he didn't get Golden Deer rule <laughs> like the other lords did. Um, but I understand, he didn't get second place, only the first place winners get a personal skill, so it's all good. And plus, it wouldn't be the first time that <laughs> the Edelgard and Dimitri got something that Claude didn't, um, or that the Golden Deer, I mean that the Black Eagles and Blue Lions house got something that the Golden Deer did not. Like uh, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, for example. So it's the Battle of the Eagle and Lion, but not the Golden Deer. Maybe it's because... Uh, maybe it's because of the history. I know that... Um, I think if, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the kingdom seceded, so to speak, from the Empire. And that was like a huge deal in Fodlin. And then, of course, the Alliance... Um, also did the same thing, but it was probably not as big as when the Empire, I mean, when the Kingdom seceded. But yes, I... The plan I have for this summoning is to spark two or three times, depending on how lucky we get. Um, and whether or not we get Lysithia. 
Like, let's say we get a full circle of reds. Um, and I, I love Lysithia. It's just that I... I don't think I need merges on her for her to be great. And she's not like an armored unit or an infantry unit that I would need a lot of merges um, to score or anything like that. So I think just a one-off would be would be great. I don't need a lot of merges. And I tried going for her, for her other version, and uh, it didn't go so well. And I even tried again when she came back for the Moonbow banner. And all I got was a Larse and a Midori. And I blew about 200 orbs. So I'm kind of... Uh, kind of passing on Lysithia. So I will be sniping colorless. And if we get no Lysithias by the third spark, we will be going for the third spark. And then getting uh breaking the pity after that i'm not interested in in pulling for in sparking for edelgard and i'm also not um too interested in blowing all of my orbs for claude this time around since i know that in february we always get reruns of the cyl heroes at a better rate and with tickets too oh hello Actually, don't have her. Oh, does she have attack speed push? I mean, um, yeah, right? Let's see. What do you come with? Oh, and her bow is great. Oh, double rally. Attack speed push, yeah. And ruse. I don't think I have this ruse yet. Or maybe I do. I don't remember. No, I don't think so. I don't have it, actually. What does she say? Call me Ellie, okay? Okay. Yeah, call me in Hollywood. Oh, Hollywood. I didn't know this game had, like, uh, real-life locations. <laughs> Let's see, will Claude finally arrive? No, it's Setsuna, who just got a refine. Not one of the best refines, but she got one. Should I pull on the rest of the circle? Hmm. Nah, I'm just gonna keep on sniping. So, um... Summoning for the other Claude, I got extremely lucky on, uh, when they... <laughs> when the banner of, um, Battle of Eagle and Lion <laughs> appeared. And of course it was Edelgard and Dimitri, but also Claude. And I got my last four merges, merges to get him to plus 10 in about 180 orbs. It was crazy luck. And I just did the... I, I didn't have very many orbs starting uh, to begin summoning. Um, so after I used like 60 orbs, which were all the orbs I had, I would just summon whenever I would rack up 20. And almost every single time, I would get one copy um, of Claude. It was... It was it was crazy. It was crazy good. I only hope that my luck is similar. Of course, that was a three-person banner. This is a four-person banner. What are my appearance rates, anyway? Three. Okay. Hmm. For some reason, I feel like colorless orbs are showing up a lot less frequently, but I think everybody says that. When they're trying to get something of a certain color, they... <laughs> it always feels like the color doesn't come up very often, but maybe it's just in my in my head. Maybe it's just in our heads. Thirteen. Yes! We got at least two. And we're about halfway to our first spark. Oh, Lena. I don't have her yet. This is my first Lena. I hear that she's one of the best healers we have in the 3-4 star pool. Ooh, plus attack. Well, since we're going to be pulling for colorless all night long, if I get enough copies of her, maybe I'll, I'll merge her up. I think I'll have enough feathers by the end of this. Latches. 
so all these Gen 1 healers, like... Well, since Veronica's getting a refine, I think that sets precedent for other healers to get a refine as well. And, oh, do Gen 1 and some Gen 2 healers definitely need it. Especially you, Latchesses. <laughs> Maybe this is a sign. Maybe she's appearing before me so often because she's gonna get an awesome refine and I need a plus 10 her. I think I'm just gonna turn her into manuals. unit I'm thinking of plus 10. He's very tanky. Huh. I don't know what else to talk about. Mm. Let's talk about Claude's stats. So, ooh, speaking of Claude, there's Parthia right there. So Claude has an HP of 42, attack 36, speed 40, defense of 23, red, and res of 25. And um, when he has Parthio equipped, he has an attack of 50, because Parthio is 14 might. But, with Parthia's effects, whenever he initiates combat, or whenever he is um, next to an ally, two, uh, at least two spaces, one or two spaces away, he gets plus five to all of his stats. So when Parthia is active, he has 55 attack, 45 speed, 28 defense, and 30 res. And I think Fury is a pretty good choice uh, as an A skill. Though I think I might just give him close foil, yeah, close foil and uh, that anti-triangle adept um, skill on the B slot that Matilda has. I forgot what it's called, and uh, the shield on the seal slot. That way he doesn't have uh, virtually any weaknesses. Dang it, this already feels like an unlucky summoning session. Oh. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Yeah, we're barely 28 summons in. Now, when compared to other flying archers, Claude just... Oh, yes! Oh, thank goodness. I am Claude Von Regan. As King of Almira, I forged peace with Fodlin. Happy to do the same with you. Two. Ooh, what are his IVs? Plus defense. Okay. Well, since we're getting that mango, wait, what do you say? There are so many people here from all walks of life working together. It's pretty much my ideal spot. <laughs> I love Josie. It may not be what I'd hoped for. It's time to move forward, right? So good. There's a lot I could learn from you. I could use some of your tactics back in Fodlin. Oh, he's so cool looking. I wonder why they decided to go with the blue glow for this special. I really like the detail in the fingernails. And the fingernail. The finger. You can see his fingernail. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So awesome. And I want to see Fodlin welcome a new dawn, and I hope to have my friends there by my side. Yes, we finally got one. 
Okay. And we're not through with our first spark yet, so maybe we'll get a few more. So compared to other archers, quad, uh, flying archers, he just blows them all out of the water. The most recent one we got was Loki and, uh, gosh, what are her stats? I don't remember her stats. <laughs> but, uh, he surpasses her in everything except for, I think, defense by, like, a few points. Like, maybe two points. And same with Lin. Uh, he has, all of his stats are higher than Summer Lin except for, I think, resistance by two or four points. So offensively, and even defensively, actually, like, even having all these stats higher than them, Parthia's effect adds 5 to all of his stats, so there really is no competition. <laughs> I really like this stat stacking uh, effect that he has with his weapon. It makes him deceptively bulky. Ooh, and something interesting is that Parthia's weapon adds plus 5 to all of his stats, while his cunning bow from his other form inflicts minus 5 to all of his opponent's stats. Of course, the cunning bow effect is not as easy to meet as the Parthia effect. All you have to do with Parthia is initiate or be um, two spaces away from an ally. But on initiation, plus 5 to everything, all the time, that's pretty awesome. Yes! Oh! Keep them coming. What are your stats? Plus HP. Huh. Actually, that might be that might be an option because of his uh, HP replenishing ability with the Parthia. I don't know. I'd have to do the math. But as I was saying earlier about the the theme of the of the weapons and and uh, of their art, I was I was hoping that they would have been more creative. I was thinking maybe Dimitri would have had a Rodrigue inspired art and he would be a mage either colorless anything but red I guess or maybe even red like there aren't enough um, red cavalry mages I think there's only three in the game yeah there's only Erica Leo and Valentine's t t Titania, I think it's Titania, 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 and that's it. Maybe Lorenz will be, Lorenz's uh, post time skip will be a red mounted mage. And that's what I would always promote him to. Ooh, speaking of Golden Deer, we're only missing three, I think. Marianne, Raphael, and Ignatz. I suspect that we're going to get Raphael for Christmas. I think he, like, for Christmas they always, they always do armored units. And if they're going to do a Three Houses themed Christmas banner, I think uh, from the Golden Deer, Raphael best fits the bill. He's armor, he's sweet. Um, he'll probably talk about his sister and how he's gonna get gifts for his sister Maya. So I can see that happening. Or even Marianne, that might be a thing. Um, ooh, for Halloween. I guess let's go through all the seasons. Let's go backwards, I guess. So, for a Halloween banner, I would love to see... Maybe not this year, because they just got alts right now. 
Lysthea, and Claude based on their supports when um, when Claude is telling her to go to to go to get some rest or else the ghosts are gonna get you. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite interactions between characters in the whole game. Like Josie Ja did such a good job at at, uh, <laughs> at the way he 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 delivered those lines. Oh, here we are. Stop. Yes, let's get wait, is this, this yeah, this is the new heroes. Okay, cool. Let's get our first free club. Well, yeah, our first free club, because the other one's gonna be from the free one time summon thing. And so it's neutral stats, so I'm not gonna check his stats. Oh, I'm so excited to merge him. Even if we don't get plus attack or plus speed, um, we're getting those fruits next month, I think. So, it's all good. Oh, and he has a super boon in speed and res. So he can get extremely fast. Or patch up his... Well, not patch up, but like just bring up a little bit in his res. I wish he had a super boon in attack. Like something that the OG Claude, the, the first Claude, the horse Claude, has that this one does not is stat penetration on the defense stat. Like he... Um, the Cav, Cav Claude, let's call him Cav Claude for now. Cav Claude has access and comes with a lull skill. Of course, I give him attack defense lull eventually. Um, and that allows him to penetrate through the enemy's defense. What's more, when Cunning Bow is active, um, the defense goes even lower by five more stats. So that's minus eight defense. Um, and Brave Claude. Flying Claude doesn't have any sort of uh, skills that do that, and he does not have access to lull skills because he flies. Flyers can't use lull skills, so that's something that I'm gonna have to work around. Maybe with the team building, have someone um, lower the defense stat because I am not gonna keep the chill skill on the B slot. I'm going to change that with. Um, there are three skills that I want to give him on his B slot. I'm gonna have him inherit Mystic Boost, so he can replenish even more HP when he, after like even if he doesn't proc a special heal, at least replenish four. Especially if uh, the enemy doesn't retaliate, like if it's a melee enemy that doesn't have DC, um, it can really keep his HP high. Another skill for the B slot that I want to try is Guard. That way it'll be extra annoying to take him down. <laughs> and uh, it'll keep his enemies from proccing their specials. And plus, since he's going to be replenishing HP frequently, um, he's going to meet that guard HP threshold. And I still don't know why guard is not... I don't know why guard is still not a sacred seal. Would that be OP? I don't think it would. And the other skill I mentioned earlier is the... Ooh, I can't remember for the life of me what it is called, but Matilda has it. What is it called? Eesh. Let me know in the comments what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Reverse... Color... Reverse Affinity? Cancel Affinity. There we go. I think that could be good because, um... We're seeing kind of a resurrection of Blade Tome effect. I mean, Blade Tome, Raven Tome effects, and refines, and some of the new units like uh, Lee. Oh, Ophelia. Whoa, my computer's making a loud noise. I guess that's another merge for my Ophelia. Plus attack. I already have a plus attack. I don't know if to fodder her for her plus attack, whatever, rally up attack. Or merge, or to merge her. I'll decide that later. 
Should I have summoned on the other stones? Nah. The odds aren't great, and I'd rather use those orbs to continue sniping for colorless. But yes, cancel affinity would be another good skill. If IS would have decided to give Claude a Golden Deer skill in his B slot instead of Chills, that would have been amazing. I think with his Parthia effect, something that would have been cool is a Miracle effect, kind of like what Hell has, kind of like what um, Celeph has. On the, what they have in their weapons as a B skill would have been awesome on Claude, especially since Flyers don't have very many good options on their B skill slot. And plus, pair that with the Parthia healing effect? Whew, that would have been great. In the player's hands, I guess in the opponent's hands, that would have been pretty annoying. I have yet to face any hells in Arena, in, in Arena, in AR, but I think her time has come. I think starting this week, this season, is gonna be the the week we all experience hell. I still don't know how to... Well, I haven't dealt with her. I haven't seen her, so I don't know if it's gonna be difficult or not. I'm thinking of maybe, like, trying to take her down with a healer. And that's probably how they'll take, like, another way to take down Claude easily is to use a healer with the raffle, razzle-dazzle combo. Or even, uh, there's so many ways to take down Claude, like, there's so many more ways to take down this brave Claude than there are... Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> He's like, you were saying something? Take me down what? Yes. Yes! Plus attack! Here we go! This is traditional Elmiran Wyvern Rider garb. Looks pretty neat, huh? It is. Is it traditional? Hmm. I would love it if somehow they could give us more give us more Almira. Like give us more of their culture. I wanna know what Almira looks like. I wanna know what they do. I wanna know why the headband. Like the headband does not go with what he wears, I don't think. It has purple. I don't know that anything else he wears has purple. I think it goes well with his dancing outfit when he's a dancer. Ooh, I've said this before, um, but I would love it if they gave him a dancing alt in his um, dancer outfit and maybe like have an Almiron dances banner. That would be so cool. Speaking of dancer banners, um, I think this year we're gonna get one of two things. We're either gonna get a Tokyo Mirage Sessions banner, or a Rockstar banner. There is a comic, or a manga, sorry, of Azura with, uh, I think either she was playing an electric guitar or Mik Mik Mikolas was playing an electric guitar, I don't remember. <laughs> but it was a really funny manga, and um, maybe that could have been a hint towards a rock band themed dance banner. Of course, maybe they wouldn't dance, maybe they would play, and I guess the the, the doors to that were open when Nils came out, because he has play as an assist skill, not dance or sing. And I already pictured it and everything. I The singer could be a tome. The microphone could be like a tome. I mean, anything's a tome. They had percussors. Percussors, they use that in like, what, the chiropractic or medical field or something, and they had it in this summer banner with Violet. <laughs> percussors, I had to Google it. I did not know what it was. I thought it was like a drum thing because of percussion, but it isn't. It's a, um, look it up. I don't know exactly what it does, but something, the vibrations help you get better, feel better or something. Um, but anyway, the microphone could be a tome. 
The drummer could be a dagger throwing drumsticks. The bass could be an axe. And the guitar could be a sword. Yeah, they make anything into an axe and anything into a sword these days. Yes! Oh my goodness. I don't know how many orbs we've spent, but we already have so many quads. What are you? Neutral. Okay, what do you say? <laughs> Let's see, we started with 868, so... We've spent at least 200 orbs. Which is, which is good for the amount of quads we've had, like three or four? I don't know, I'll have to count them. I'll probably count them when the game says, Oh, you have too many heroes in your barracks. And I think I'm the only one in the world who hasn't expanded his barracks. I'm still at 300, and I'm fine. Why do I need more slots than that? Oh, Leanne, yes! I don't have her. Yes, we can be friends. But what are your IVs? That's okay. She's gonna sing and dance any- I mean, sing. Good luck. Thank you. That is so sweet. Thank you, I will take that luck. That you are bestowing upon me. May more clods cometh. But yes, I think that would be a really cool banner, a rock band banner. I don't know who would be, or what game it would be from. Um, honestly, yeah, I don't know. I can't imagine them just doing one game, because that's a very enticing idea, I think. I think it's a really good idea. I don't know why they don't do something like that. Or maybe they are doing something like that. Oh, I forgot. I was talking about um, three houses. I mean, the Golden Deer. I mean, yeah, well, seasonal banners, Golden Deer, three houses. So, for Halloween, I was thinking... Um, wait, three orbs? Should I...? Nah, I'm getting it for free anyway. If Yeah, if I have enough orbs to spark all the way... Will I have enough orbs for three sparks? Let's find out. I guess not if I continue spending five orbs a circle, huh? Well... Gosh, I do want Lysithia, but I also really do want... Eesh, I guess if my orb count starts getting sparse, I will s start summoning on more colors. But for now, I'm just going to stick to my guns and snipe for colorless Waffnicks. <laughs> oh wait, why couldn't that Ophelia have been Dimitri? That would have been awesome. Anyway, going back to the Halloween banner idea. I think... Oh, please... Okay. <laughs> his art looks so similar with his brave, um, brave sword, Meister sword. To this one, it, it kind of scares me sometimes. Oh, there we go. We need four more quads. Wow. Yeah, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet if we're gonna spark the third one. Cause I'm already down to 579 orbs. Or you know what? I might do. How long is this banner in for? 20 days. I might do a part two. Yeah, if I, if I only need, hmm, if I only need two more clods by the time I get my pity broken after my second spark, I'm gonna make a part two summoning session. Maybe on like the last day, or the last few days of the banner. Last day is the wisest, yeah. Yeah, that's the wisest choice, might do that. Anyway, Halloween. Golden Deer, who else would be in? I think the best candidates would be Claude and Lysithia. And uh, non-Golden Deer would be Mercedes. 
or <laughs> Mercedes. Or maybe she's from Spain, so it's Mercedes. <laughs> I think she she looks like she she would be from Spain. If it were, if 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 Fire Emblem Three Houses characters lived in the real world, I think Merce Mercedes would be from Spain. Yeah, I can't think of anyone else that would be a pretty good fit for Halloween banner. Of course, aesthetically, anyone could probably work a really cool costume. Let's see, Summer, Sedith and Flane, for sure. They love, uh, actually Sedith and Flane would be awesome in like every season. Spring, that would be so cute. Bunny, Flane, and Sedith, duo unit, yes. Definitely pull for that. Winter? I know none of them, neither of them are armored, and hopefully they break away from just winter armor every single year. Um, but if if they wanted to stick to that setup and flame duo unit armor would be, well, it, would, it could work. I wonder if they'd be a healer or a lance unit. They both use lances. Um... New Year's, of course, that would be, that would work. Oh, maybe they could, okay, I'm about to say a spoiler if you don't know about Sedith and Flame. Go find out about Sedith and Flame. Go play the game. You can play on any route except maybe Crimson Flower, and you'll find out about the secret behind Sedith and Flame. It's not a dark secret, it's, it's a cute thing, so to protect Flame, Basically, um, Sadith is pretending to be Flane's older brother, but when in reality, he is Flane's father. And his wife passed away, I forgot how. But if they do a New Year's duo unit, maybe they could... Um, actually, I don't know if in New Year's they have any sort of... Um, like ritual about the dead or like remembering the dead that's not that's, I know it's not Dia de los Muertos though that would be really cool Dia de los Muertos themed banner at the beginning of November <laughs> or at the end of um, October double dip Halloween and Dia de los Muertos like oh this is the time where we remembered those who have passed there are so many characters Oof, this is Fire Emblem there are so many characters that would that would fit the bill for a Dia de los Muertos themed <laughs> uh, dialogue. Ooh, three more summons for my second spark. You know what? I'm gonna go for that third spark. Yeah, why not? But, so yeah, I'm gonna stick to plan A. Third spark, and then pity break, and then that's it. I'm not going for the fourth one. Like, I'm. Um, I, I know, well, the thing about Edelgard, she is unlike any other armor unit yet. She is basically not, she doesn't, she's not limited to armor mobility. Her legendary variant, you have to make sure she's alone at the beginning of the turn in order for her to get the extra movement. But this one, not only can she move if she is above 25% HP, but she can also warp. Like, what is an armor unit? Hey! Oh, this is my idiot summon. So I guess... The thing I don't like about armors is the mobility. And I do like armors. Um, I don't like them that much. Actually, as the... As the game goes on, like, I use armors less and less. I find it, like... It just takes longer to complete things. Yes, it was fun back in the day to just tank, but nowadays infantry's tank because of their um, damage deduct de 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 deduction in their B slot. Oh, let's get that Dimitri. Yes. I need to start pulling blues. I want that B skill. 
Actually, is that inheritable to flyers? If it's not inheritable to flyers, I'm not pulling on blue. I am Dimitri Alexander Blakely, ruler of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. I wield this lance for my people. <laughs> Did y'all enjoy my Chris Hackney imper- <laughs> Not even close. I would not be able to do such an amazing job as... as he can. Oh. Anyone can inherit it. Cool. What do you say? Oh, I need to go back first. What do you say? Seeing myself in the formal attire of the King of Fargus will take some getting used to. Oh. <laughs> I like it when it's just a chuckle or a or a hmm. <laughs> Allow me to shoulder some of your burden. It reminds me my honor. It reminds me of that um, video Josie Jim made about. Uh, and nodding in anime. How like whenever we nod or we shake our heads, we don't make an we don't make a sound. But in anime, when they nod, they go, hmm, <laughs> or something like that. Or when they react, ah, uh? <laughs> like there's a sound for every reaction. Let's see, we're at 513 orbs. We have spent about 300 orbs and we've already sparked twice 300 sparked. so I think it takes like 150 160 orbs even while I'm sniping so I'm g definitely gonna go for the third spark plus we haven't pulled Lysithia and I'm not pulling on reds so so that's what we're gonna do and uh, I guess I won't pull on blues either if I really want that a skill I'll just wait for it to be on a on a banner, or I'll just wait to get pity broken in the future, <laughs> or I'll just wait until February. I can wait for that skill. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Dimitri will live until then. And I, I was saying about armors. If if she were a different color, I may have considered pulling up getting Edelgard, but there are just so many green armors, and I know she's probably the best or er, undeniably the best. Like, there's no question about it. Her stats, I saw them, they are the best armored stats in the whole game. Her speed stat is like 16, she is so min-maxed, it's, it's, it's outrageous. She has the highest BST, I think she ties with Winter Sothis, who's also a green armor, um, which I also already have, I already have Winter Sothis. The thing is, if, Someone is running null follow-up. Like, that's it. Like, Edelgard's not gonna double. But Sothis will still double, because she's super high speed. And she gets a ton of stats. But I guess she doesn't have the mobility. Nobody has the mobility. <laughs> like, very few infantry have... Or any, any movement type, even flyers, don't have the mobility that Brave Edelgard has. It's pretty crazy cool. I thought that, um, like, I was thinking as an Edelgard fan, I would have, if I were an Edelgard fan, I would be upset that we get another axe armored Edelgard, but this is, like, it's unlike any other unit has ever been. It's, it's incredible. And plus she has that B skill that reduces uh, damage on her, on their second hit, which is all right. But I think the biggest winner of this banner is definitely Dimitri. Absolutely, without a question. Damage reducing out of defense. And his speed stat is good. His only weakness is res, but typically mages don't have high defense, so he'll have major damage reduction. I wonder if his best boon is res? I mean, yeah, since, um, I don't know if it's a super boon. But it'll patch up his rest plus with merges. Oh, not to mention um, blessings. In eighth raids, he's gonna be so good. Um, who grants res? I think it's Sothis grants res. We still don't have an Astromythic that grants res. Um, 
Does Mirabilis grant res? I think she grants defense. I don't remember. Or maybe it's... Yeah. Or maybe it's Hell. No, Hell is dark. But, um... Peony... No, Peony grants speed. Air grants res. And we all got a free one. So if you get an extra air, you can do double air to have plus... What is it? Plus eight? Or plus six, or was it plus ten? I honestly can't remember, but it'll definitely help Dimitri's res and HP. Ooh, extra HP for Claude. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, I can't wait to merge him up. Can't wait to play with him. Part of me just wants the summoning session to be over so I can play the game. <laughs> Ooh, and this forging bonds. Like I typically through forging bonds, since I don't care about most characters that come out in New Heroes banners, I just like skip, don't read, but I've been like soaking every single line in this Forging Bonds event and I am having a blast. It is so interesting. I can't wait to see what happens with Lif and Dimitri. And I think Claude is up to something, talking to all of these, um, all of these shady villains from other games. Like, I wonder what, what is he trying to accomplish? I want to know. I also want to know what Lysithia and Fjorm are going to talk about. Because Fjorm is still alive. <laughs> we make a joke, but when, when reading that Forging Bonds, I, I felt like such a jerk laughing about Fjorm coughing and choking. But when she's, like, dying, she's dying and we're making fun of her. That's awful. Um, but it, it was very endearing, like, to treat every day as a gift, as we should, like, even if we don't have, uh, double crests, we did, we weren't born with this, um, or, no, she wasn't born with it, it was, um, they did experiments on her, even if we don't have a disease, like, let's talk real world, real life, like, even if we don't have a, a terminal illness, we should treat every day like it's, it's a, like it's a gift. Like, even if we don't have illness, we don't have the day promised. Like, anyone can get a heart attack, literally. So we should... Oh, I thought that was Cloud for a moment. <laughs> so we should treat every day as a gift. Oh, so, uh, it reminds me of that Kung Fu Panda. What, that, what the turtle, what the tortoise said. Something about the present. Today is a gift. That's why it's called the present. Is that how it goes? I don't know. Hey, it's been a while since we've gotten a 5-star. What's going on here? What's happening? And what's my appearance rate? Because it must be really high. It's been a while. And look, I only need 22 more summons to get my third spark. Did we get too lucky at first or something? What's my appearance rate? I wonder. Not that it matters. 4.75. Hmm. This should be Claude. Because 4.75. <laughs> Actually, what are we thinking? Summoning on banners. So if you play Fire Emblem, you know that your hit percentage determines whether or not you make a hit. So imagine your hit percentage is 4.75. That's not a that's not really good odds, is it? But I guess if you're hitting multiple times, you're bound to get a hit with 4.75. So I guess we're bound to get something. <laughs> oh, oof, I hate sitting on this chair. I should get anyone anyway. I'm thinking aloud. What was I talking about? What was I talking about? Forging bonds. Yes. Oh, living. Yes. Enjoy life. Don't just play gotchas all the time unless that brings you the utmost joy don't be spending speaking of oh nah i'm not gonna talk about that other gotcha i played <laughs> um forging bonds lysithia edelgard i wonder i don't remember edelgard's forging bonds also edelgard was the very last one to give me the ticket of course of course she was
and by a by a like what by a 20 minute margin like all the other three characters gave me a ticket within like 15 20 minutes of playing and then 20 25 minutes later Edelgard gave me your ticket. <laughs> ah, what is it now? Five. Five percent. Give me a full circle of... Give me a full circle of colorless. I'm feeling lucky. This is fine. I just want a full circle of colorless so I can get two clods in a row. Oh, not happening. Alright, this could still be two clods in a row. Let's not write it off. Smoke? Yes? Oh, it's Chad. Wildcat makes me think of some sort of high school from TV. Is it still five? Give me a circle full of color. Let's great. Well, you know what? Maybe this will be Dimitri. And I won't have to wait to fodder his skill. <laughs> to oh, nope. It's just a Roderick that I'm probably going to send home for some feathers. Eek. We're at 400 orbs. Now I'm feeling a little nervous. We still have 13 more summons to go. Seventh. Uh, I guess I'll talk about that other gotcha. So I found this gotcha <laughs> called Gai, and it's a very fan servicey, full of um, very attractive men. And I played it for, honestly I haven't played it in, I only played it for like three days. But the first day I played it, I played it for like eight hours, six hours straight, I don't remember. But I played from like 9 p.m. all the way to 5 a.m. I lost track of time, I didn't know. It was, um, I didn't, I didn't, I lost track of time, I didn't know how fast time was flying. Uh, and then the next day I played it for like an hour, and the day after that I played it for a few minutes, and then that's that. And the game really got me thinking, since it's very um, fan service-y, it like, got me thinking like, why am- ooh, what is my appearance rate? 5.25! Gosh, give me that full circle of colorless! I was thinking like, why do I do things? Why do I play so many games? And I got the, I was thinking about how there's so many things, and I know you didn't come to this Fire Emblem summoning video for me to tell you not to play so many games, but let me just talk about it for a few minutes. So, I, I was, I play not a, like, not the most games, like I'm not like an otaku by any means. I, but I do like maybe spend maybe two or three hours playing games which a day which doesn't sound like a, like a bad thing and it's not but I also you know do other things of entertainment like I watch a movie or well, actually come to think of it it's not that bad but in the in the scope of my day I feel like it does take a lot of time and so I was thinking I do play a, I do put a lot of time into playing games and um, if I were to do something else with that time, I could really accomplish something. Like if I were to do literally almost anything, like let's say I took an online class about self-defense. Maybe an online class wouldn't be the best for self-defense, but I'd be a lot better at self-defense than not taking any classes at all 
Oh, give me a full circle. Come on. Or maybe if I took an online class, of course, online, everything is going to be online because we're in a pandemic. Maybe an online class on how to play a new instrument, then I'd be so much better at that. I guess the point, the, what I'm trying to say is, when you invest a lot of time into a game, you're only going to get better at the game, but you're not going to get better at something that can benefit you or that can make you a more well-rounded person, so to speak. And <laughs> that's what that gacha game got me thinking. Oh, and also something that that gacha game says at the beginning is, um, I hope you live the life you want and you enjoy it. And so I guess that always, I always, that always made me think for a few minutes, like, okay, am I living the life I want right now? How, what steps can I take to living a happier, more full, full fulfilling life, so to speak? And <laughs> and as I'm playing this game, I'm thinking, as I was playing that game, I was like, well, sure isn't playing this game. Oh, man. Okay, so what is this luck? My appearance rate is through the roof, and I'm still not getting anything. Is this Dimitri? Nope, it's another Buck Catria. <laughs> What's my appearance rate now? Is it at six? Look, and I only need three more summons for my <laughs> for my 575 for my third spark. Well, at least it means we're almost over. And oh yes, 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 yes. Yes, come on, let it be here. Smoke, smoke. Yes, come on. I feel it. It's Claude. No, it's not. It's <laughs> but Mar. <laughs> it's another archer. That's it's not Claude. <sighs> well, I guess after this we'll get our spark, and then since our pity is so high, it's bound to break soon, right? Either way, the end is near, and this means that I finally get to play this game as Brave Claude. But speaking of online classes, I had been taking this online ASL class and I love it and um, I feel I it was, it's everything I said, like I feel like a more well-rounded person and I feel more aware of the struggles and the way uh, people who cannot here, go through, okay. Let's get our Lysithia. Confirm. And I can totally carry on a small conversation with uh, someone who is deaf or hard of hearing, and it feels great. <laughs> I was about to jump of excitement. I got Lysithia, but it, it just, it's a spark. It's a spark summon. It's not, it's not luck. It's not luck. It's fate. <laughs> we had six. 575. Let's break our pity. All of them. All of them are brave, are brave units. Just watch. Oh, it's Alyssa. So, at least I, I shouldn't... It's not that I was being hard on myself for playing... A moderate amount of games, but I just I don't know, I guess maybe I just want something more. And playing gotcha games wasn't gonna get me there. Stop. What? Okay. Alright. We are back and I'm gonna have so many feathers when I send some of these manuals home. But yeah, I guess if uh, any takeaway you get from watching this or listening, even if 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 you even made it this far, oh yes! All right, looks like we're about to finish this summoning session. What are your IVs? Plus HP. Fodlin isn't going to change itself. 
Sometimes it takes an outsider to make things happen. Yeah. Ooh, let this be another one. Another one. You know, I'm gonna pull full circle here. And then that's it. Oh, no other quad. That's okay, we pulled a lot of them. See, maybe we can get an extra Dimitri and an extra Lysithia. Anyway, as I was saying, maybe um, if there's anything you can take away from listening to this video, if you even made it this far, um, is to... <sighs> Never mind, actually, I don't want to give advice that... I, I don't want to... I want to be able to preach something that I practice. So I guess once I put it into practice, I will preach it, so to speak. I'm not the most productive person in the world, but I'm also not the laziest. Oh, I'm far from the laziest, but I'm so far from the most productive person. <sighs> Who wants to hear about productivity in a Fire Emblem video? Jeez. Oh, and I guess, oh, what a bummer to get your rate up to 575 and only get one five star in the circle. <sighs> well, 306 orbs. Let's check how many clouds we have. six quads so we're at plus six seven eight nine ten we would need four more quads for a plus ten because oh, let's see we have six here and we have that one that i haven't summoned so we need four can i get four quads and 306 orbs probably not um and i'm like 33 no, I can't do math. <laughs> no, yes, I am 33 away. 30, 50, 70. yeah, 33, yeah. 33 away. Uh, I think, how about this? I'm going to wait until the last day of this banner, see how many orbs I have. Because I am so tempted to pull, f to get that Edelgard. Like, the more I see it, like, that's how this game gets you. The more it shows you something, the more you want it. The more I see her there staring at me, the more I want her. Oh. Maybe I should just do it now. Am I feeling lucky? 306 orbs. Hmm. Eesh. You know what? I'm going to do the wise thing. I'm going to wait. So, if you want to see me summon again... Be sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments how your summons went and which of the four CYL units is your favorite and who did you vote for and who do you want to see next year. Anyway, my name is Freko and I will see you next time. Bye!